Hi, I'm Sam Cagliano, Associate Professor of History at Campbell University, a former Merchant Mariner and an adjunct instructor in Maritime Industry Policy at the U.S. Merchant Marine Academy. Welcome to this episode of What's Going On with the Golden Ray? It's on fire. Uh, and that's it. The Golden Ray, the ship that basically was lost back in September 2019 out of Brunswick, Georgia, is currently on fire. The salvage has been going on now for quite a long time. Uh, I'll talk about that in a second, but reports just came in. This is coming out of the uh, Fox CBS affiliate down in Jacksonville by Georgia. This is Brunswick, Georgia, right in St. Simon's Sound by Jekyll Island and by Paris Island. Uh, this vessel, this part you're seeing right here is what's left of motor vessel Golden Ray, a car carrier that was leaving Brunswick in September of 2019 when she had a catastrophic shifting of her cargo. Uh, the ship began to capsize. The pilot on board was able to get the ship out of the channel, off into the shoal waters, and then she rolled on her side. And she's been there ever since. Give you a better idea here of the story. This is a couple of stories that were done. Let's see if we got them up here. I don't get out of this here. This is a couple of stories that were done actually in Car and Driver, which is actually pretty good. Uh, both of these. So this story, Ship Happens, which is a funny story. That's the image there of the Golden Ray on her port side, her left side. You'll see her there on her side. This is during an early part of the salvage when they were getting the fuel oil out of the bottom of the vessel and basically prepping her for salvage. Uh, this is Golden Ray herself. She's a large car carrier. She was built in Korea in 2017. She was only two years old. Uh, right here, those are the ramps. It's one of the ramps right there, a side port that goes into her. There's a stern ramp on the back of her. And basically what you have in here is just a huge, massive parking deck. Up here, up on top, that's where the uh, crew sleeps. There's the bridge up there. And these uh, round things right there are ventilators. So that when you run the vehicles, uh, you don't die of carbon monoxide poisoning. Vessel is loaded to the gills with vessel uh, cars from, from Korea. And they were in the process of offloading vehicles up and down the US coast. She had offloaded in Brunswick. She was heading up to, I believe, Baltimore next to offload. So she still had vehicles inside of her. The problem was those vehicles were high up on, in her. She had offloaded, which means she came up out of the water a little bit, needed to take ballast to get back down into the water. She probably did not take the ballast on like she should have. Uh, they don't like to take ballast in inland waters because it's muddy, it's nasty. They'd rather get out into the Atlantic, nice clean water. But when she made this hard right turn, it's about a 90 degree turn coming out of St. Simon Sound, the ship shifted and rolled. And probably because she was top heavy, maybe because some vehicles broke loose, we don't know yet. The NTESB is still investigating this. A year and a half later, we still don't know the report yet. And she proceeded to roll over. This is the view here from the beach off Jekyll Island. And I think we get a better image. No, no, this is, uh, this is how they uh, are doing the salvage right here. So the large yellow crane, if you come back here to this image right here, that large yellow crane, it's actually floating on two barges. It's suspended over the vessel. And what they're doing is they hook on, they put these plates, weld these plates onto the side of the vessel. And then here they use this large anchor chain and they basically saw the ship in half, kind of like a saw right there, just kind of cutting through, cutting through, cutting through. And they cut the vessel into slices. Uh, this is the stern section right here. You can see what was out of the water, what was in the water. This is the very stern section. This is where the stern ramp was. They removed that. And there she is on a barge right there. And you see these slices right here. I don't know if I get that image to open up any bigger than what it is. Let's see if I give you a better view of that image. You can see right there, she's packed inside with cars. That's what's in burning right now on the vessel. That's what's right now burning inside of her. Uh, I should also mention that I am not a big fan of this method of salvage of this vessel for a variety of reasons, not the least of which you can see the cut being done in there. You can see that right there where they're pulling vehicles out with cranes from there. This exposes the inside of the ship to the waters. Now, the inside of the ship had been exposed to water. She's flooded already, and so she's already flooded. But this allows current to flow right through her. They've cut the stern and the bow off, and so there's actually a current running through her right now. And the amount of pollutants this puts in the water is 
ridiculous. I, I, I really don't understand how they agreed, the Coast Guard and all the, the principal players here, to do this. Uh, to me, the smarter move, come back to the way she looked up at here. Let's go up here a second. To me, the smarter move, and again, I am not a salvage expert by any means. I am a former merchant mariner, deck officer. I'm a historian. I've studied a lot of marine salvages. Would have been to dredge right here where this vessel is. Well, where all these vessels are, dredge, 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 dredge. Put a coffer dam around here so you prevent the spoil from coming in. Dredge right here, and then put in a series of barges, jack up platforms right here with winches and roll her back up and then pump her out, float her back up and keep the vessel intact and then float her away. To me, that seemed to be the smarter process there. Again, not a salvage expert. What do I know, lonely historian? But what I do know is what this wreck has done has dumped vehicles, contaminants into the water of St. Simon Sound repeatedly, repeatedly. And now you have this going on. This is, again, the imagery live coming in. I think it's live coming in. Let's see if this is live. I'm pretty sure it is. Yep, there it is. This is live coming in. Uh, it's actually a little bit delayed right now because I'm a little bit behind. I had to pause there for a minute. But now you see the fire. It's running through the length of the vessel. This is the crane that's cutting it. You can see right there they were getting ready, probably the hoist up. They're down low right there doing cuts. They were gonna get the next slice, they call it slice of the vessel up, but now you have fire ripping through it. There, there's nothing you're gonna do here. I mean, there's no reason. They're gonna throw water on it, but it's gonna burn out when it burns out. Now you just get contaminants in the air, contaminants in the water. It's, it's a mess, it's a mess. I feel bad, very bad for the people in St. Simon Sound and in the area here for this, uh, because this shouldn't have happened. And now it's, it, it, it's taking place. Once that fire took, took hold, you weren't going to be able to get it out. There's no way. You can't get in the interior of the vessel. And so you can spray in there. But again, as you can see, the flame shooting out here, kind of hard to see with the, with the caption right there. It, it's just an, uh, an absolute mess. Uh, I would recommend, if you're interested in this story of the Golden Ray, Menorcan Mullet. He is the guy that's been doing this. He tracks this thing like crazy. Uh, he gets some great drone images of it. He is right there from there. He's got a good following, 5,000 followers. Uh, you can definitely follow it. He's been following this from the very beginning. Uh, so you can see all of this. If you really want to get the detail of what's going on with this salvage, that's the expert to go to. I always preach, go to experts. They're the ones who provide you the best information. I'm just giving you an update here on what's going on with the Golden Ray and my interpretation which was, this is not the great salvage that it should have been. It, it, this should not be happening right now. And I think the fire just emphasizes that fact. So I'm Sal Mercagliano. I hope you enjoyed the video. I know people down there are not enjoying this video. I shouldn't even have said that, sorry. But uh, if you're interested in more information like this, please click the subscribe button, hit the bell, so you'll be alerted about new videos when they come out. And give it a thumbs up so that other people on YouTube can see it. Until the next broadcast or until the next maritime disaster, which happens fairly often if you've been watching this channel. Uh, I'll see you next time.